I just like Bridget Joan knickers. What's wrong with that? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. She's Chloe. <laughs> Normally, it's heaving. It is dead. I'm actually lost. Where the f you exit? How do we leave? Um. Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you press on that bell so you know when I next do a video. It's official, Primark's finally open. Right, I saw the queue in London that and i only have a few hours before i have to get back into work so we're gonna go to a really big one about 20 minutes away from my house or i might go to another one at that's local too but i reckon that one's gonna be really busy because that's like a main one right next yesterday we went next we went down and it was dead as a door now but in london it was absolutely rammed and further ado let's go to primer Guys, apparently it is dead. No one's in there. I gone and asked this lady. I said, is it even worth me going or should I just turn around? Just be brutal with me. She said, now 11 o'clock, there's only two people she saw in there. Two. And there's no queue either. This is the result. Right, let's go. I can't believe this, guys. Like, there is no one here. Are they all sanitised? Oh, well, thank you. Normally, it's heaving. It is dead. But I've decided to put the mask on. Because I'm going to be a better example. I'm having so much fun in the bags. Normally the bags are all gone by now. <laughs> it's so quiet in here. Normally it's absolutely rammed. They've got amazing new stuff. Love these. I need a slightly bigger one for like when I go away. Like whenever I travel. Oh guys, it's so pretty. Look at it all. Anyway, let's not get distracted just yet. I need to get a couple of bits of my mum first before we do anything. It's very safe in here. I feel safe. Typical, isn't it? When none of your mates are getting married and all this starts to come out. Underwear is in this store. I think it's like the first floor, I think. We'll go downstairs anyway. If they're going to tell me off, they'll tell me off. And we'll learn from there, won't we? <gasps> There's literally no one here. It's like heaving. <gasps> oh, look at the homeware. Oh my God, it's so nicely organised in here. Oh my god, yes. So this is the only problem with this store. When they do the pyjamas, they do the tops are really short. They sound really dark, but the only underwear I normally get from here is like, they're like ultra soft, they're on the hanger. I don't care, I'm nearly 30. I can wear Grace underwear. I can be Bridget Jones. I don't think they have them, guys. Oh, they do. They come in a pack of three, I think. I'm trying to find the homeware section. Like the proper full-on homeware bit. I don't think that's where it was. These cameos, how nice are they? For seven pounds. You know what? I could do with one of those, but they won't have the pink in my size. I don't want white. Oh wow! If you've got a tiny bust, that would work brilliant. Normally in a Manessa, like up to fifty quid in there, but in here they're probably less than a tenner. If you've got small enough boobs, you get away with that. Just say that. No offence in the girls with big boobs. I've learnt it from experience. <laughs> I want to get one for the baby. Oh no, it's not a unicorn, that's a bunny. Is that a unicorn? Oh, there is. What are they actually for? They door stoppers? I don't know. What are you? Lauren of the Unicorn, 450. It's so weird to say I'm having a niece. I'm always going to be auntie, never the mum. These are shoe liners. Shoe liners don't do it for me. I like them. But when it comes to like sport gear kind of wear, it's not that great. Oh my god, look at these. Oh my god, that's so cute. <gasps> Luna love good. Guys, we need to concentrate here. I do need to get a nice couple of pairs of like everyday flat shoes. I never ever knew they had pops in Primark. Oh, these are great for the kids. If you have kids around. I just think they're so handy for like in the back of your cupboard. In case you have your friend's kids around or something. <gasps> oh my god, shut up. No. Why? We're getting one, we're getting one. Who are we getting for? Who are we gonna get? Buzz Light? Yeah, no. Guys, what's pig gonna suit? Wait. I've got your juice in my bag. I wanna get Dumbo, but it's only like small, small, medium. I think Brownie would be a lot. Oh my God. Guys, do we dare? Do we actually dare? I love the Christmas stuff in here. The Christmas stuff in here is amazing. Especially when it goes on sale. Okay, we're out of luck. It's amazing in here. It's quiet. They're keeping track who stays here. They shut all like the sitting places. So we just need to get a couple of pairs of flat shoes for work because I'm not allowed to have flip flops. You should wear flip flops at work anyway. Oh, for seven pounds. See sliders, I love sliders. 
but they don't stay on me properly because I have weird webbed feet so we have nice sandals here these could do I'm starting to get shoe holic is and back in me now uh, look i haven't been shoe shopping since lockdown started so give the girl a f break this girl looks like crap right now because she's in her work gear but when the shoes come through i love sliders but they don't sit on me properly and i've got really webbed feet so they don't last me 10 minutes i remember i went through a long phase wearing these remember 2014 i just wore tea dresses like laura looking dresses with them shoes Chloe, age 24, come back. Oh, I might need to grab a pair of flip-flops too. Look at the flip-flops. They're so cute. You know what? I think I'm going to go for a really diamondy pair of flip-flops. We're going to do it. These are cute. <gasps> Look at Peaky Blinder mugs. So this is the new interesting part of Primark. The wellness section. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh wow, five pounds. Obsidian is really good for getting rid of negative energies. We have essential oil sets. Look at the hampers, these are great. Look at the travel bottles. These are amazing. This is all eco-friendly stuff. Oh, gentle face wash. I wonder if these are vegan. Who's vegan? Oh yes they are. Are they in mitts? How cool is this? Brick a pack section. Look at these. Look at those. Primark, you've really upped your game. Oh, that's cute. It's filthy. I'm trying to figure out what I need and what I want. <laughs> the shoes, there wasn't that many shoes. Like, they're nice and everything, but they're just not me. They're like too high, like every day. And what's the point of me buying shoes at a high heel at the moment? Because no one's going out, out. We're just open Primark for <laughs> sake. I've seen a mum to be bag and I thought it'd be perfect for my sister so that I can put all of her baby presents in. Now these are quite interesting. I'm gonna give this one a go. Foundation and concealer, dual brush. Let's give that a try. They're quite nice colors. I don't know if it's vegan. It's cruelty free, but I don't know if it's vegan. Better to be safe than sorry. Some of this stuff is vegan, like most definitely. Sometimes it's not, it's just cruelty free. There's a difference. I need to find face masks. I actually cannot find a face mask either. I actually can't find them. <laughs> We're doing really well on time as well. It's only 20 to 12, so I'm not even going to work until three. I'm doing really well for myself. Oh look, four pounds 50. I don't know whether to just like cave in and just get myself one of these ones. Oh well, look, at least I've got the vegan wipes instead of that. I prefer the balm to be honest. I don't like all the constant rubbing on my face because it makes me really sore. I don't think there's any face masks in here. But people just gone mad and bought them all. They've gone up a bit, haven't they? Five pounds? Seven fifty? They've gone up a bit. Never this high. That's why I buy them here. Here we go. Cheap Chloe. Cheap Chloe. Affordable. <laughs> they need more like moisturising. But I wish they had them in the sheets. They don't have them in the sheets anymore, really. I love the little perfumes in here. They really are handy. Oh, we've got like a whole Mulan set. Oh, that's so nice. Right, so we're going to go to the till. So we're going to go to the till and then we're going to head to Marks's but I don't know where we head to Marks's. There's a certain direction to go, get something to eat and then we'll be off. So I'll show you all my haul when I get home. Not a lot I've got but I've just got some essentials that I need because some of the clothes in here don't fit me properly. They're normally quite long in here for me. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So the rules. I like all these dresses, but they come up so short on me. But they're a little bit thick right now. And I don't know what size I'm gonna be in the autumn. So it's just fruitless. So I'm actually not. Where the f do you exit? How do we leave? Um, I love all these as well, but they just don't fit my boobs, right? Matt's cute. I love that with a jacket. Thank you. So I just don't know how you go to Mark's. Is. So sad. So that'll be like all the bowling alley and everything when it reopens. Outdoor bit. I've never been here before. But like this kind of thing, go shopping if you need like a load of stuff. Don't just go for the sake of it because there's a lot of travelling involved. Got fancy music outside. How tranquil. So we are finally in Marxist. We got kind of lost. <laughs> so yeah, we need to do is just go to the food court and then we'll be out. We never had stuff like this when we were little. Our mum's had to go to the uniform shop and pay a fortune. Guys, it's Father's Day next week. Now look at all this. 
Hello guys, we're back. Right, just to clarify, okay, I normally go more mad than this, you guys know that. But I don't want to buy too much and overbuy because I know there are going to be a lot of people that are going to panic buy everything. So we're doing storage shoes one place to another and it's just not practical. As much as I wanted to buy the whole f***ing store. So, there I'll do, let's show you the haul. These badongas, is that how Bridget Jones calls them? These are the literal... Bridget Jones knickers and these are the most softest most comfy and as well if you wear jodhpurs or breeches if you obviously have horses these are the best if you have breeches these just stay up and they don't ride up or ride down they just fit you so perfectly they literally like mold into your size so I've got three of those for five quid so you can't go wrong with that I'm not gonna beat around the bush I'm not as tiny, even when I'm skinny. I don't like thongs, I think they're gross. I don't like Brazilians. I just like Bridget Jones knickers. What's wrong with that? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. The next thing I got were these, they were only two pounds, which I thought were pretty decent. And these are for like running around and you know, doing all that shebang. So I wait until like they die and then I chuck them and I buy a new pair. We got these. Let me show you those sparklies. These were eight pounds. So I think they were an absolute bargain for that. And they're quite nice even if you just want to go to the pub, go to the beer garden, or go for, well, we can't do that right now. Go for a picnic, you know? Get the park. It's just as good, 10 times cheaper. I never knew that Primark was ever gonna do a vegan lip balm in vegan packaging. Look at that. Such a big bag. So the next thing I've got are tweezers, just these standard gold tweezers. So I use these ones for my brows and then these tiny ones for like mascara. I use these ones for fake eyelashes. I wanted just to try one, just to see how it goes. But sometimes these get a little bit irritating. Soothing cream mask and it has got aloe vera and aloes. And apparently aloes is aloe vera in foreign. I don't know what language. Let me know, guys. So I am kind of sick and tired of beauty blenders at the moment. They're a pain in the ass to clean. And once they get all yucky, it just goes on the top of your new face and nah. Don't get me wrong. I love beauty blenders. You guys know I've loved beauty blenders for like the past 10 years. But girl wants to try something new for a bit. This is a concealer and foundation brush. And the last thing we got was, guys, you know how much I hate hate hey we don't need bloody towels with a little bit of solution on it to get our makeup off oh wow so we have got very fancy we've got very fancy since the other green one that i've got but i'm pretty sure that it is the exact same so this is the balm to oil absolutely stunning makeup remover and cleanser i cannot tell you how amazing this is to get makeup off and you can also put things on like this to make your skin nice and softy and yeah Primark have really impressed me today they have like up their game to the next level like this new well-being section the whole look of Primark anyway guys that's the end of my haul and I hope you guys enjoy it so if you guys are like that make sure you smash that like button and make sure you subscribe and make sure you press the bell so you know when I next do a video and I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video <gasps> bye